Aloha, welcome to Kaleo Sports Talk. I'm Kiola Kaluhio Kalani, and I'm joined today by Honolulu Star Advertiser columnist Dave Reardon. Thanks for joining us today, Dave. Uh, thanks for having me. Awesome. Um, it's the last game of the season for the football team. Uh, this week, Saturday, you know, we've seen a coaching change. Team's currently on a nine game skid. Uh, kind of give us your overall take on the season thus far or in, in general. Uh, I think most of us expected a little bit better, uh, but we were all a bit wary of the front end of the schedule and how that might cause some problems because that was such a torturous schedule, not just in the level of the opponents, but the travel. And so if they were going to have some injuries and if the team was going to, um, you know, suffer some uh, big losses, and that can affect the morale of the team. And in my opinion, um, they were pretty much okay until the Boise State game. And when they, I'm trying to remember the score, it was so many touchdowns, I can't remember. It, I lost count, but it was like what, 55, yeah, 55 to 7, I think. And then I think from that point, the team was broken and it never got fixed. Okay, let's look at this weekend. Mm -hmm. Louisiana Monroe, senior game. Um, what is it going to take for the boys to win, and what do you think that would do for the program if they do walk away with a win come Saturday? Well, it's kind of the, and this is playing itself out at it, uh, pretty much every uh, college, Division One college team around the country that is playing their last game this week. I think uh, maybe Army and Navy might be the only ones who aren't because they play again next week, but and they'll be pumped up for that, of course. But I think, you know, obviously Louisiana Monroe is not a rival, but because they're one in 10, it's, if there's a team that Hawaii can beat now, this is it. And also there's that old idea of, if you're an underclassman, sending out your seniors on a good note. And if you're a senior, of course, you wanna send out your fellow seniors and yourself on a good note. Our kickoff for that game is 6 p.m. at Aloha Stadium. And it's, uh, the seniors will be honored. But Dave, let's look a little bit into the future. Obviously, after this season, um, there's going to be a coaching change again. Uh, interim head coach Chris Naiole, uh, understandably, is here for these four games. And then the, the Dave Matlin will be looking for a new permanent replacement. Can you uh, talk to us a little bit about that process and kind of your take on who might be that guy mm -hmm. come next season? Okay. First of all, for those who aren't aware, um, Chris Naioli is, um, he's, a, he's a veteran of like about 12, 13 NFL seasons. Mm -hmm. And I, um, he's got, you know, I think he's pretty much set for life financially. And, and, you know, I was talking to him today and he said, you know, hey, I'm just playing with house money. And then, and then so <laughs> he, <coughs> he is not necessarily very interested in continue on, continuing on as the coach. And, you know, they haven't won anyway. They've lost you know, the three games that he's coached, so I don't know if he would be considered anyway, but just so people know, you know, because that's an obvious question, right? Oh, what about the guy they have in there now? So that, that leaves us with, uh, what, just uh, maybe uh, 150 other potential guys or whatever, and we, we were told that 50 people applied, but that could mean anything because uh, they might not even have the min minimum qualifications. Um, we, and so I think what it boils down to is you know, we hear a lot of people talk about June Jones, right? And then um, he's considered kind of an odds-on, you know, favorite for this job by a lot of people because it's the easy pick. And then um, there's Nick Rolovich, who was a, also a quarterback here like June Jones was. Um, and uh, Nick Rolovich was the offensive coordinator here, uh, where they, and they had, he had some success. If, if you want to talk about um, guys who... Uh, our former UH football players. Um, another one is Rich Miano. And Rich Miano uh, was an assistant coach under June Jones for a long time. He also, uh, he, he's kind of like this Chris Nioli in the sense that he, he played, uh, he had a really long career in the NFL. Whoever they do get, you know, hopefully their team will be successful, at least more successful than we've seen the last couple of years. Makes your job a lot easier, I'm sure, if the team is winning to find things to write. Um, so, you know, really hope that whoever the candidate is, program turns around. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about the wins um, that the team can produce under whoever that candidate might yeah. be. My job's different because it's like, <clears throat> as long as there's some kind of drama going on, mm -hmm. it could be winning, losing, changing a coach, 
guys getting in fights or whatever. It, it's people gonna, that's the kind of thing people wanna read. And then, um, so, and then as far as winning goes, yeah, you gotta win. But then one thing I've learned over the past couple of years is that it's not good enough to win 10 to seven. Uh, you gotta win like, you know, 45 to 27. And there's people out there who would rather lose 52 to 51 than the win 10 to six. And I don't know what to say about them other than they probably uh, play a lot of Candy Crush or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I understand that mentality. Thank you for, so much for joining us today. Um, you can find more from Dave. His, you can follow him on Twitter at Dave underscore Bearden. Or you have that blog, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, the blog is, the blog is kind of here and there, but the column, column itself is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And uh, it's all online anyway. So if you Google my name, you'll probably find it. Perfect. Uh, thank you for joining us. Special thanks to UH Productions for helping us put this together. Aloha.